is a companion card it's actually a Tiffany companion card and I purchased all of these things of course to use with my scrapbooking so I have just removed a piece of foam that's on top of the box here and I just wanted to show you how this is actually packaged and what all I have to do next so here's the box that I received from HSN today and I opened it and on top was the piece of styrofoam I just took off and then I also have a piece of paper for the instructions on how to put this companion cart together and I will need a Phillips head screwdriver so I have two of them because I don't know which size I will be needing but this cart comes in pieces and I just want everybody to know that and let's see what's in this box so then inside of this box is the cart apron and the wheel and then it also has some dividers that go in one of your tra in one of your drawers. So they're divider trays. And they're calling the apron the craft wrap. So I've already taken taken out which I think is going to be the wire frame. And then these are the actual drawers and they've got a little space here I guess for you to slide onto the trays when it's time so I should have three of those so I'm just putting those off to the side And then inside of one of the drawers, they have an organizing unit that you can either put in the drawer or you can sit on your desk. So take that out for a second. Here's one of the organizers. And then here is the second organizer and then if you wanted them to go into your drawer unit you can put it in there like that so this is the last item in and it's the side rails and I have two of those so I am going to get this put together and then I will show you what it looks like. goes 
so it should wrap around the back and onto the sides like so so let's turn it around so there's nothing to hold it onto the back the only thing that holds it on is these so there's nothing oh okay So here's the apron wrap. It will go across the back of the unit like so. And on the inside, they've got little tabs where you can attach it around the pole so that it stays. And then you've got the top that has some Velcro. So it'll stay across the side rails and then some other closures that will go along the front so let's start with maybe the side rails because i'm thinking that will hold it on so let's put this over okay. now the entire cart is now put together so I have the entire cart put together and the reason why I bought the cart is because I'm hoping that I can just take some strips of fabric and go around the entire unit and tie this unit down and then when I go to scrapbooking crops I can take everything that I need with me and on the sides with this apron it's got so many different pockets in here that I can also use so it's got on the back it's got pockets and it's very hard for me to videotape this so on the back it has pockets that I can just put things in this is a giant pocket here's another one and here's another one so I've got I'd say this cart's about 18 inches wide so it has three large size pockets there when you come to the sides of the unit, you have pockets, which is not showing up very well, but you have a pocket here, and then I have another pocket down here, but then I can also slide items into here, like my, um, and then I can also slide items into here and then secure it back with the velcro and like my cutting tools can go in there and then on this other side i have another big pocket that i can slide some items in and i can secure and again i have some po other pockets here this pocket is has a little bit more room for you to stuff on this side I have a handle here. I guess I can hang some things off of here. It comes off so I can like put some things onto the strap and then put the strap back. And then I can also add some things in these pockets, plastic pocket, and then I got some pins and pencil pockets across the top. I'm back and I have to confess, it has been many, many hours since I put this cart together. I actually washed my hair and then I also made baked potato soup. And I also took the supplies out of the box here. So all six of these boxes is the reason why I purchased the Tiffany cart. And then I also purchased the Tiffany cart again because I wanted to use it for when I go on scrapbooking trips. So let me get the cart in front of me and then we can start. So here is my totally Tiffany cart. And again, these top things can come out. So if I want to place them on my desk, I can. But I kind of like having the work area. So I don't know if I'm going to switch that yet or not. But inside of here, I've got all of my scissors, my paint brushes. 
I have some smaller scissors here with all of the tools that I need for the silhouette. And then in here I just have a few paint brushes and paint dobblers. And I might have some uh, makeup sponges in there because I paint with those as well. And then I have some of my scrapbooking supplies, paper crafting supplies like boning things. And I have my regular pencils, glues, regular pens, and markers here. These are just some of my markers that I use on a regular basis for writing. And in here I have some glue stuff, but this is not going to stay. It's just sitting here temporarily. I have some tape and a tape measure my corner rounder which I use all the time and then I've got a replacement blade for my paper trimmer some glues things I can use to accent documents stamp cleaning stuff is all in here I'll just start with the bottom shelf I have my stamping pad and this is just a piece of cardboard sometimes I like a hard surface or different textures of surface this is my grommet tool it's just sitting here for right now and in this container I put all of the silhouette extra blades and also my sketch pens I'm probably going to find something else to put them in but for right now I didn't want them just rolling freely in the cart so I put them in there the second drawer is where the majority of the items came from the kit. I've got all of my heat transfer vinyl, my regular vinyl. This is etching stamp material. I got etching materials, transfer paper. And then I've got the idea books that came with the kit. This is the stuff that came with the fabric kit and some rhinestones. So basically everything that was in the kit I put in this drawer. It also the kits also had CDs for how to work with that, but I don't need those because it was very basic. So I can get more help off of YouTube. On the sides, I haven't done anything with the pen pocket or this plastic one here. This here comes off and you can put washi tape or ribbon on it and then I have my step pad cleaner my stamp pad cleaner here on the back in the largest pocket I have my 12 by 12 scrapbooking album I have some extra mats my current mat which I destroyed I'll talk about that in a minute I'll pull that one out and then this is my replacement mat and then in here is just some more paint brushes fancier paint brushes and then on this side the only thing I don't like about this cart is that they advertise this as being the spot where you can put your paper trimmer and my stamping up paper trimmer is too large to go in here so it does not work and it won't go on either side I tried both sides and then again I have this big pocket here and down there so I have a lot of items in this cart that I pulled out so that I don't have to store the boxes although again they're nice boxes but I just can't do um, so I'm here I'll just go ahead and give you a quick tour of some of my scrapbooking stuff I have washi tape in this container here I bought this tray at Michaels and then the tray drawer slides out and if you're on the desk then you can just lean it down or it'll just hang down so I like that so it has actually three drawers here I have my stamping up stamp and then here are all of my embossing folders in uh, this book is an old creative memories book and I have all of my stickers and such in here alphabet stickers theme stickers and stuff like that some just failed as I was touching the book then I have my desk here and while we're already doing a review I actually got this silhouette cover and it had pink fuzz on the inside so I hand washed it 
and I was so excited about it that I then threw it into the dryer so it could dry really fast and it shrunk so this is not fitting correct anymore and let me just take off my cover so you can see one of the things that I made already with my machine I actually created this with a font that was on my computer and then cut it out on vinyl so it's two layers of vinyl here so that was fun another fun thing and I don't know if it'll show up in this video but can you see where this mat has been cut up I actually put this mat into the machine and the auto blade did not adjust and so it just cut right through the cardstock through the to the mat so I immediately got online and ordered me another one and just for informational purposes I did contact silhouette online and they were of no assistance they really did not care that the blade auto blade did not adjust so I am having to manually adjust my auto blade and as you can see I am working on scrapbooking an event I actually went to my aunt and uncle's 50th wedding anniversary in March and I just started with that and then I also have some more pictures and things up here more papers spread around so this is a box here of just miscellaneous stuff I have a lot of paper here this is my print paper and then more of my um, solid paper here and then some more paper up here these containers here actually came from Michaels and I'm not sure if I really like them I think I need something more sturdier and then I store all of my cards in these plastic units here so those are all my made cards right here is where I store my stamps and then in the purple and white container to the left is where I store little small things embellishment things like that on this shelf is all of my the second shelf here is all of my paper pumpkin boxes and I need to really get busy and get those things made up and then stamp and die storage are in here there are my inks I do have a few Simon Says stamp kits they're stacked in the back there more stamp and dies over there and in here are some kits but they're not paper pumpkin or Simon Says stamp they're miscellaneous kits so that's what I have for storage and while we're in here I may as well just show you where I store my long dies for my studio. So all of those are on the bottom shelf there. So I forgot to tell you that I also got this desk. And this cover actually came in the box covering the desk. And it was wrapped all the way around. And I just cut it so I could have a top surface. I thought that would be good for stamping. And it's the origami desk. So I can't see it because the light is flaring on it. And then on the bottom, it has a pedestal on each side. And I just set some other items up there. In this top one is a place where I have my stamps here. I don't have these labeled yet and then in this container I have some stamps that were too big to fit into that casing this is some additional adhesives and I'm sorry I got you on the tripod and the top one is empty for right now and then over here on this side I have my little trash can I can step on to throw things 
in so I can just step and not have to stop and use my hand. And then I have all my ribbons and trims and such in these drawers in that unit. And then I just double stacked another unit. I've got more adhesives. More adhesives. And this is all of the paperwork that just came with the Cameo. I just tossed it all in there for right now. And just some more adhesives. Adhesive sticker sheets. Stuff like that sitting on top. So that's how I store my scrapbooking stuff. And then what's on my desk is my ATG. And then I have this smaller one. That's the adhesive that you saw that was sitting over here. I just purchased that when I was on the card making retreat. And then my heat gun is in my mug. Have a little radio here so I can play music. And then also here have my TV television. So that is basically my card making area. And I am also going to start probably videotaping and cutting in here if it's in the middle of the day. And I'm probably going to also start videotaping in here for cutting because I'm going to try to keep this area clean. So we'll see how that goes. But right now you can see that it's not very clean because I have been working on my scrapbook. So... That is it for this video. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.